everybody, it's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to Manifest Destiny and Victoria 2 with the Historical Project mod. Now, America is in this long, arduous process to reform its military and basically to strengthen its overall forces throughout the world. We are currently right now just biding our time after like those um two because uh well concurrent wars of the american civil war breaking out and then the spanish american war or what was essentially the spanish american war between us and spain we did come out on top with like cuba and the northern tip of the philippines so i would say we did like a pretty decent job well done over there and currently right now this north german brothers war with austria is failing spectacularly seeing as how spain or excuse me france is just like going through germany with complete impunity right now to the point where germany took its gamble of like outright fully invading austria and it seems as though they only mounted a token defense against france so what I'm hoping for is if France is smart, they'll add like a cut down the size, cast his belly, which we'll be able to use. Ah, and also, seeing that the Japanese Empire is about to unify. Uh, any minute now. And then we have this one. The rise of the KKK. The Ku Klux Klan, abbreviated the KKK, was a decentralized organization primarily composed of white Southerners formed in 1865 by Confederate war veterans from Tennessee, a secret vigilante group known for its iconic symbolism of burning crosses and white hoods and robes. The KKK was formed in opposition to the tenets of Republican Reconstruction, dedicated to preserving white supremacy in the former Confederate states. The Klan shunned few... Wait, what did that say? The Klan shunned few means in accomplishing its goal, and violence directed at Southern Republicans and Blacks was rule rather than exception. The Klan was suppressed by the federal government by the passing of the Force Acts of 1871 during the first term of Ulysses S. Grant. Today, we receive news that burning crosses have been seen blazing against the warm, dark night skies of the South. They took my baby away. Jeez. And then also our literacy dropped down to like 76 after reincorporating the South. And it looks like we could deal with some more intellectuals since I'm pretty sure during that war, a good number of them were probably slaughtered. Let's see. What is our intellectual level at over here? Uh, here. So we're gonna put a whole thing at Indiana. South Carolina looks good. Say most of the northern states are pretty good. Uh, and some of the southern ones. Let's switch you to intellectuals. And eh. Indiana. Let's do that. Probably get that number back up to the 2% mark. So right now we're researching revolution and counter-revolution, which will help trigger this colonial race because I say we need it just because of the manpower. We're definitely gonna need that manpower boost. And let's see. Once we get machine gun armament done, then colonial negotiations. Oh wait, wow. The years before 1880. Oh. So it gets lowered even further. So if I do economic relationship and naval logistics. Or economic responsibility. Alright. Well, we do have to work on commerce tech anyway. Generate more funds. So, Germany. How oh, I found Livingston. Oh. oh, so we found Dr. Livingston, I suppose. 
hearts and our feelings are with our eyes as we peer into the palms and try to make out in which hut do, 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 do. what the hell's wrong with this I guess it's just skipping ahead. We are now about 300 yards from the village and the crowds are dense about me. I pushed back the crowds and walked down the living avenue of people until I came in front of the semicircle of Arabs, in front of which stood the white man with the gray beard. As I advanced slowly toward him, I noticed he, he was pale, looked wearied, and had a gray beard, wore a bluish cap with a faded gold band around it, had on a red sleeve waistcoat and a pair of gray tweed trousers. I would have run to him only i was a coward in the presence of such a mob would i have embraced him only he being an englishman i did not know he would receive me so i did what coward list and false pride suggest was the best thing walked deliberately to him and took off my head and say dr livingston i presume <laughs> wow so <laughs> that basically gives us plus 10 on the english thing uh, that's neat we could really wait, 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 wait. Hold the front door. This realize you're at war with France, and you have neither invaded France nor have you even attempted to help Germany. I guess. Oh well. Oh, Bosnia is again on this. Oh. Oh, I suppose, Brian, you do your own thing. America, we're just going to sell you guys guns and help build up our nation. <laughs> Let's come through the Suez, uh, Panama Canal. Stay for a while. Oh, God. Militant socialists in Nicaragua. Hell to the no. I am not going to lose any more or any one of my satellites to nonsense. I hop on these boats and head on down here. Deal with that situation as swiftly as possible. It's just Nicaragua too. Okay, good. And let's see. Focus heavily on Argentina. All right. Just put as much points in Argentina and then we'll be able to pack them up safely. Yes, let's, let's intervene over here. Help our, help our boys out. Ooh, I see that increased tax efficiency. That's always useful. Ugh. I'd rather have this two year draft in place. Screw the no draft thing. That was screw us. I was about to do that four year draft um, myself just to make sure we had a lot of war. Because I don't know if anybody noticed uh, during that war, we actually reached our mobilization ceiling. Which, I mean, granted, it was a lot um, well for this time period, but like, geez. It was not, nothing as near overwhelming as we needed. All right, let's go help our Nicaraguan friends. And let's see how the failed state of Italy is doing. I have no idea, like, <laughs> holy crap. Like, Italy is like the Weimar Republic right now. Like, they have barely any industry going on. I'm assuming the rebels must have died. They probably may have crossed over into France or something. Or are just sitting around on their hands. Let's see. Force of repeal. Let's just keep the poor happy. Alright. Let's accomplish. Our little intervention down here has gone swimmingly. Uh, well, it's Liberia. I, I mean, I don't care <laughs> too much. I mean, the Liberia, well, it couldn't hurt. 
Let's just do this. Yeah, Liberia. I'll give you some points. Let's add you back to our sphere. I mean, it really couldn't hurt. And right now... How is this war looking? Look at bad for Germany, but they have the ticking war score, which is dumb. And Austria is about to fall to rebels. Now, UK, I mean, if you just invade Dunkirk. Wait, you only got nine boats. France has 35. Oh, it seems like you basically pissed away your navy. And hmm. We'll deal with you later, Canada, but right now I am feeling a little bit frisky. We can still do this. Because there's still a colonial province here. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Could release the Philippines as well. Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Anyway, right now, I'd rather us just build up instead of like squandering on another war so soon. Canada will have its due. So the Japan fully unified. That is great to see. And I suppose releasing the Philippines would be fairly useful. Create a state in Cuba. Uh, actually the literacy level is here. And what the hell? Cuba is now an official state. <laughs> this he did take a bump, but eh, it's negligible. Heck, I still want to do like get up to like a good school system. I'm not about to pass that one year draft thing. I mean, the increase in immigration is nice, but ugh. Just ugh. All right, looks like U.S. military might is coming back into place slowly but surely. Oh, you bastard! It's really tempting me. <laughs> this is really tempting. Now, here's the thing. 57 brigades. Russia still has 104, but there's still several military techs behind. All I need... And I don't like this. Should I take this gamble? We could win. Uh, we could certainly win the battles. Uh, we can. We can. We can. We can. Protected by the UK. Uh, and it's a satellite. So it's going to undoubtedly join the war. I'm gonna risk it. I am going to risk it. 
Okay, right now, I am going to take this huge, huge gamble. I'm pretty sure they barely have any troops up here since the last slaughter. The thing I want to focus on the most would be how many troops do you have, Canada? Six brigades, fully mobilized. You probably won't have much more than that. And I'm still building up my military force. I could do a preemptive mobilization again. Let us do that. I am taking a huge gamble with this. And I know time is of the essence. So what I'm going to do is this. We're gonna release Philippines as a satellite of ours. Let's do that. Form an alliance with you. Essentially that is somewhat historical as well. And what I'm going to do is wait. We got to get a little bit of force build up going. I want these guys to get into position at least. Don't cross into the mountains. Hey, you know what? Because this is honestly the best time. The only time we're going to have for this. If I do this. Let's see who will accept. Even Russia will not accept. Oh, they allied the Ottoman Empire, you fuckers. Hmm. No. I can't go about this alone. And the thing, I reason I want Russia in this time is because Germany is in a perfect position right now. They're at 100% war exhaustion. They got 57 brigades left of their army. And their units are scattered all about. Ugh. But then you have... Okay, Finland is up here as well. But Russia will have to deal with like Sweden and Norway. But they both don't have much in the way of a military at this point. Yeah, wait, wait, I think I know why. Are you guys still... No, you don't have a truce, you're just afraid. Effectively, I'm just gonna end it. Of just demobilize because I know how it's gonna be and I said I can go about this by myself but the thing about that is I think the reason they're so scared right now is because they're mobilized it's just like look at the brigades like 304 for a UK um, 38 it's essentially pushed the United Kingdom to have like the third most powerful military and basically just name mainly. Uh, Russia, I think Russia has the first, but it's because of the amount of troops they have. Yeah. So the reason that no one wants to do this is because UK is mobilized, but they're not weak. I have uh, how many... Uh, months for this until July. Yeah, this is not going to work out, at least not the way I want it to. Oh, why didn't that have the naval port set up? Probably why these bastards haven't been moving over there. Hell, we don't even have railroads.
it'll have to wait. I'm going to use my better judgment and just wait because it's going to have to lead me to invading the UK and they're right now focusing heavily on military tech and such and right now as much as Germany is easy for the pickings it's not uh it's pretty much not the country that's going to be the main war leader And then Britain, I could win the one battle up here, but I don't even think that's going to be enough. All these nations are buying up troops. Hmm. Now is not the time. At least not yet. Not yet, not yet. Let's focus on the economy first and foremost. Now's not the time. It will come soon, everyone. It will come soon, but now it's just not the time. The best situation would be to declare on them right when they demobilize and Germany's in the process of rebuilding itself. Like, look at them, they're at 21 brigades right now. Germany is about to be completely and utterly fully occupied by France. Austria, like, Austria is actually being liberated um, in some areas. So the Brits are landing, tr like they did get their um, troops to invade Bosnia down here and now they're just going through Dalmatia. Let them squander, let them fight, let them bleed each other dry. But just know, we are building ourselves up. You can encourage soldiers down here too since now we don't have to worry about uh, uh, another civil war breaking out. Let's hurry up. And look at this. Osho like is has gone bankrupt. And it's not even worth going to war over them to like put them in our sphere because they're allied with France and France. We have no capability to land a lot of troops over there and it'll just be a mess. But I will take this just so we can get the cast belly and not lose the prestige because it, it really doesn't matter. Like, see, look, if I declare war on them, protected by France, that's the only one I care about. Wurttemberg, Baden, and Serbia, I don't care about, but France, yeah. You know, there's only five war score. Well, would anyone join me? Everyone will join me, pretty much, except Japan, you bastards. So frankly, if I did this war, what would I gain from it? This, this, I'm, I'm taking too much time, like, not a lot is going on, but what would I gain from this? They will repay our, like, the debts, which is basically what, like, reparations? Oh no, it was just forcing to resume their payments on it because they defaulted. I mean, at most, I could possibly take something from France, but I wouldn't want to do that because I do want to ally France later on in the game. And having a core of theirs would be a coinky dink. Let's just leave it alone. Once again, I said America just has to build its strength up. Speaking of building up strength, let's help some of these capitalists like fund these projects. Come on, just get these machine parts. Almost there. All right. see I'll wrap this video up at the 30 minute mark I just want you guys to 
Like, yeah, we need a cannery. Like, where they, oh no, Chester Phelps, <laughs> the hero of the uh, last two wars. May he forever rest in peace for his duty to the Americans. Uh, let me see, all right, we're making a decent chunk of change right now. And as a way, like, look at this mess. And there it goes, Germany officially broke. There are, they have no brigades and they have one boat. That's the, pretty much the extent of their military. And I'm guessing France probably has the Straits of Dover block because it's kind of dumb how Britain hasn't like sent over troops. Because this is where at least over half of this is like half of their uh, army, standing army right now is over here. And pretty much all of France is over here, probably with a couple of forces at Dunkirk for extra safekeeping, but that's the price. That's the price uh, Germany paid. And now they're basically losing this. Like, the mid hegemony. I mean, it's giving them something, but like, France is about to fully occupy Germany, and then they're gonna release. Yeah, Vienna's back in Austrian control. Ugh. Afro Latino. Oh, suppress this now. <laughs> I'm not going to take another prestige hit from savages. How dare they? Now they have nationalist agitation. Okay, let them come. All right, so first things first, I say. Let's go through here. Or actually, what would be best for our nation? Now I gotta think about short term and long term war, and especially in this mod. I could go straight for this. Because it'll help out the, uh, it'll help out with colonial negotiations. All right, let's just do that. Let's stick with market regulations and let us annex Hawaii. So let me see, we should organize the African colonies to better reflect both a local structure as well as set up the possibility for autonomous, autonomous rule. Dominated by our benevolent colonial administrators, of course. Oh, so this is basically what we'll release, though. It'll come shortly, Congo, but where is Hawaii at? Hey, how are you? You will be our way station to the east. Ever we need significant numbers. So right now let the American project commence once again. So I'm mainly just entertained by this nonsense right here. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> oh, it looks like UK did conquer Istria, or at least part of it. Oh, they conquered all of Istria. Uh, congratulations, but it's not going to do much in the way unless you have almost all your army down here. I'm pretty sure if Persia is nice to you. Oh, well, they're in your sphere. And these guys are too. So, essentially, if theoretically that means the British will be able to have their Indian forces cross through like the Middle East the Ottoman Empire all the way up to here. It is possible. They could be mounting a counterattack against the French, but highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. All right. So our units are being built. Liberia. We could kind of tone down on Liberia right now because I don't think Britain is going to give a crap. Uh, we can also do the same thing for the Philippines. At least tone that down. 
and which nation we should focus somewhere out here in the middle east like oman britain is like sparing the hell out of here they know the oil that's the most valuable portion but we did manage to kick them out of venezuela so that is a victory in our books all right so i'm gonna wrap this video up right here and hmm, when we return we shall see like the complete and utter destruction of germany in a war that should have been like incredibly easy for though but i guess i think this still all goes back to that like previous war like that was it this was it like a similar war where they like try to do this um once more because germany north german federation got themselves in a war which they brutally brutally like were like slaughtered by the french that broke their nation it was similar to this but now it seems that they're going to be in more for a bigger punishment because they're about to lose great power so the same thing as austria it's to the point where Belgium's now in seventh place in the world. Oh my. Ugh. So with that said, I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Hit that bell for notifications if you want to like follow closely with this series or any other series I may be throwing at you. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again next time. This is Soul Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.